Hi guys, it's Tammy with Yellow Sparks Joy. Welcome to my channel. Happy Thanksgiving. If you're in Canada and you're watching this, you should be watching on... Um, I'm going to try to get this up on Thanksgiving weekend, so either Sunday or Monday. So right now, I am in the mall in Calgary and I just decided to come and look around. I particularly want to look at the... Um, the coach beat bag in Amazon green I think that's what it's called it's either Amazon green or hunter green so I really want to go to the coach store I also want to go to Terry Birch Michael Kors and um, Kate Spade because I want to check their shoulder bags as well I'm looking for one that closely resembles the um, like a baguette style bag right something that's really close to the um, the Prada um, reissue yeah that's what I'm particularly looking for, like something really close to the Prada reissue. And I know that Kate Spade, Michael Kors, and Terry Birch have similar styles. So I'm going to check those out in the stores. Then I'll definitely be going to Coach as well. I want to check out the um, beat bag with rivets in green, the new one that just came out. I don't think I will be purchasing it today, but we'll see. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm just in here today. I'm going to go into a couple of other stores as well. Hopefully I can take you guys with me. I'll film as much as I can and I hope you guys enjoy this. Yeah, we'll see how this goes. It might be a really long vlog. So grab a snack, grab a drink, sit tight and let's do this. So I went into Hudson's Bay to um, check out the handbag section and then I came across this brand. It's called Sandro. I haven't heard of it before, but it looked like they had nice designs, right? So designs are kind of inspired by the other um, more regular luxury brands that I'm used to seeing, but they are nice nonetheless. Like this one was a tweed bag and I just liked um, the clasp. I liked the sleek and elegant look of the bag, I guess because it was black. It was just really nice. The strap drop, the chain and everything. I just felt it was well put together. I liked the way the um, S was all over the bag. And for $415, you know, it was not bad. So this entire section was Sandro. They had the shoes, the scarves, the SLGs, the purses, the clothes. So I, yeah, I thought it was really nice to discover this brand. I'll probably do a little bit more research about them um the quality i mean not so much up there in my opinion but yeah this crock and bust one was 445 dollars but yeah i think it was a nice introduction to the brand sandro and this is their ready to wear i like this jacket i feel like the brand is kind of like um is, is inspired a lot by Chanel because I see a lot of pieces that mimic Chanel pieces. So this jacket was $740. They also have this one that's in houndstooth. I love the buttons. Again, this looks very Chanel-esque, but it was nice. And it's also always nice to have these things that we um from luxury brands that we love at a fraction of the price this is another brand that's new to me this one was called maji they also had this tweed thing going on but then this they mix kind of like with a sporty vibe so i like this dress for um 510 dollars canadian a bit pricey but um it was it did feel like good quality so yeah love this coat i am on the hunt for a brown coat or like caramel colored coat for fall winter i haven't found one that i really like that fits my budget yet maybe when it's like off season sale period i'll get one that i like but that one was really really nice this table just had some handbags that were on sale these are steve madden 
Um, Steve Madden usually does handbags that are inspired by luxury brands at a very, 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 um, at a really small fraction of the cost of the luxury brand. So this is definitely a Chanel 19 inspired bag. I like the black tweed. I don't know. I think there's something about black tweed that I like. So yeah, this one was nice. I like the um, look in front. It's very nice, very big, very chunky. They also have a rock stud one that's very um, like Valentino, like the new Valentino romance studs. And that's the way that opens. They also have this version with the latch quilting. I don't like this so much. It's probably more fall, you know, because everybody's doing full fur and shirling and sherpa for fall winter. But I didn't like this one as much as I liked the black tweed. So on this table where Ralph Lauren bags, I particularly like this one because of the color combination. So green and um, navy is something I'm really big on during the fall. I just love pairing green and navy together. Like it's one of my favorite, favorite combos for fall. So yeah, this is all Ralph Lauren bags. Um, very nice ones. And then you have more here. This is a very large tote. It was on sale for $160. I love the print on this. The print kind of reminds me of the Versace print a little bit. And it has um, a purse inside as well. So yeah, not bad. I like this one too because it was really big, um, nice for office to use. I love the interior and the different color, the um, tag that's hanging down in front. And here we have some Rebecca Minkoff bags. Not so much a, Rebe a Rebecca Minkoff fan, but yeah, she had there. There were some nice bags that I saw here. They did have um, quite a large selection of her bags in Hudson's Bay. This is the ED. This is the one that I think is the most popular. I love it in this color. I probably just like this type of color, so I wouldn't buy it though. And then this is the black with the chain, nice interior, and a large back pocket. Now, this is one brand that I like purely for its design aesthetic. This is Kurt Geiger. This bag is $255 and look at this one up here. Ah, these prints are to die for in my opinion. I really like this print. This one is a sequin one with like a light gun metal hardware for $385. I think this was my favorite of the bunch, croc skin and snake screen or python. Very, very nice. So Hudson's Bay also carries some um, pre-loved bags. I think this is done by a particular company, LXR and Co. They authenticate these bags and sell them at Hudson's Bay. I particularly like this Gucci one i think this is the small ophidia i'm not sure but i like it i just couldn't find a price on it so they have lv they had gucci they had prada they had fendi as well yeah so if you if you want authenticated pre-loved bags 
it's pricier than what you get on eBay or Facebook groups, but coming from a trusted name like Hudson's Bay, I feel like maybe you would get a little a, a level of comfort buying from them. So yeah, that's an option as well. And then they had some Marc Jacobs bags. So this is the Marc Jacobs section. Some nice totes here and um, top handle bags. And the only Marc Jacobs bags I know about are the camera bag and the tote bag. The Marc Jacobs the tote bag. And of course they had those in store because this is the eat bag currently for Marc Jacobs. They had this beautiful one in the small size in yellow, the canvas one. I think I prefer the Marc Jacobs bags that are leather than the canvas one, but I do see what everybody is raving about here, the canvas um, camera bags. And then they also have the hard shell regular cam camera bag as well. I was having a hard time getting my camera to focus on the price for some reason. It just wouldn't focus. Well, right beside Marc Jacobs, they had Coach. So the Hudson's Bay does this HBC stripes with um, Coach. It's kind of like a collab where they have their um, branded stripes on the Coach bag. So there you can see some field to totes with the HBC stripes. And then they have this tabby in the orange and pink for $4.95. They also have the canteen bag. They have the willow bucket bag. Also in this fall orange and brown. I love the Elise bag. I like the zipper pole and the seat that hangs below it. Um, for $3.75, they have this brown one at the bay. This is the Ergo in canvas, the small size for $4.95. These are currently off season, so I think there's a sale um, for these canvas ones in this spring summer colors. This is the field tote. I think this is a size 22. This one is on sale for $3.96. Yeah, so these are currently 30% off. And then they had some in the back. I actually wanted to buy that bucket bag, the light blue one, before now. I just couldn't get myself to commit. But I really like it. I think it'll make a nice spring summer bag. This is the field tote in navy, and then this is the bucket bag with the canvas, the light blue canvas that I wanted, and I don't think I want it anymore, so for $4.25, and then 20% off, it does have three feet, four feet, is it 20 or 30% off now, I can't remember, but yeah. Here is the Elise in denim and leather. I think this is exclusive to the Bay. I'm not sure, don't quote me on that, but I've only seen it 
at the Bay and on the Bay website for 350. I think it's a nice bag. I like that shape of bag. I just it's just not for me, but I do like it. They have the beat shoulder bag with rivets in this really nice fall um, color block. They also have the soft tabby, they have the Madison, they have the tabby with the rivets. Here's the soft tabby in black. Okay, so I tried to stay away from shopping for clothes, but somehow I found myself in Zara. <laughs> and I was just here admiring myself in the mirror while trying to decide which color of shirt to go with so this is what happens when you go into Zara right <sighs> I did specifically say I was not going to go into Zara and then what did I do I ended up going into Zara <laughs> and then I came out with this okay so it's time to focus focus just admiring this Kate Spade window display like Kate Spade always has the nicest display like I'm always this is obviously like in honor of their new collection the Mercer Street collection I want to believe with the buildings and New York and the skyline really pretty I love Kate Spade for its colors and fun designs I love 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 that large tote if I was a tote girl I would totally get it but to be honest I don't need more than two totes in my collection but it, it was really nice I'll show you a little bit more later this is a card holder with a chain so kind of like a wallet on chain or a card holder on chain again my phone was not focusing on the price these shoes are very unique, very New York <laughs> and very, very new unique. So they had the locket flap bags. They've had this since the beginning of the year. They have new colors out for fall now. I did buy the pink in the spring and I have a video reviewing or unboxing that. I will link it in the description box below. So this bag took me by surprise. This is the moon bag in is it Forna fur I can't remember what the name of this bag is exactly but I will leave it linked below but yes I love the texture it was so soft and cozy and cuddly like I could go on all day stroking the fur on that bag it comes in other textures as well but that was just my favorite and here is the denim totes the I heart New York tote really big if they do bring it out in a small or medium i'll probably buy this i totally love it it looks very like very good quality too this is the little better sam bag this is a small nylon bag this is what i actually came in to see i saw this bag earlier in the year when it came out and i tried it on but i just feel like it felt a little bit flimsy like the handle because the handle is a fabric uh, the rest of it is a nylon they have the entire little better sam collection this is the large tote which i think will be great for work now i think that it's not so much it's not flimsy but it's very very lightweight which i think is what makes it great because then you'll be able to pack a lot into it without it feeling heavy so yes i did want to buy the little better sam small shoulder bag and that's what i came in to see at kate spade so they have different colors and prints i was wanting the olive green i saw that online but they didn't have it in store and I heard it's not available in Canada at all. So this is the small um, tote. 
very very cute <laughs> i don't need this size to it in my collection if i buy something like this i'll probably just use it like as a lunch bag or something like that which it won't really be bad as right and then this is the big tote and the utility crossbody in green i really like this utility crossbody the little better sam utility crossbody in the olive green see this is why i wanted this color in the um small shoulder bag but they didn't have it so because i think the color is really nice especially for fall this one is a little over 200 dollars canadian again my camera was refusing to focus on the prices I love this Kid Speed um, card holder. I have one in crock embossed gold colored, light gold colored. It's one of my favorite card holders. Very easy to use. It's big. It holds um, quite a number of cards. Easy to access as well. back to those moon bags on my way out i just can't like i'm undecided about the shape but that four one was just so so soft so i checked the card and it's called the smile small shoulder bag so the shape is supposed to resemble a smile i guess okay so i didn't film in michael kors because they didn't have the bag i was looking for it's called the jesse bag it's only um, available online is what they said and I'm not so much a Michael Kors fan so I didn't really care to look at anything else there. The ready to wear was nice which was surprising. I didn't really expect to like it but um, their Thanksgiving sale was on everything else except ready to wear and shoes so I didn't even bother looking at that either. So um, let's go to Terry Birch. There it is. This is actually the first time that I will be um, going into a Terry Birch store. All of my Terry Birch stuff I have purchased online. So let's see. Wow, I love this display. This is so pretty. So this is the Terry Birch Eleanor. This is one of their classic collection and my dream Terry Birch bag. So I have the Kira. I have in fact, both Terry Birch bags I have are part of the Kira line, but I don't have anything from the Eleanor line, and I really, really want this Eleanor um, shoulder bag. It's almost a thousand dollars though, so <laughs> we'll see, maybe someday. These are the Kira wallets on chains, and then this is the McGraw shelling bag. Perfect, perfect little bag for fall. I think the color, the shelling, everything is just so um, inviting. This is almost $700, but very cute. 
And this is the barrel bag. This is a newer Tory Burch style. So it came out about two collections ago, two releases ago. So maybe three or four months now. So it came out in the same um, collection as this bucket bag as well. So this comes in the jacquard and it comes in the leather. I love the monogram at the bottom and that it has feet. I also love the fact that it has the back pocket and this is the T monogram bucket bag I think it's just a very beautiful well-made bag I might have my eye on this one when it goes on sale okay so sadly Terry Birch did not have the um, Mercer Crescent bag the 1951 bag in the store it appears that it's only available online right now it's not in any of the stores not in Canada not in the US so I couldn't see that. I was able to film a little bit in there, just a tiny bit, but I guess it's time to go to Coach, my all-time favorite store now. So let's go. Coach, my number one, my numero uno, my love. Here we go. Oh, hi, bag. Oh, you're so beautiful. <laughs> That's how excited I was to see this bag. So this is the Beat shoulder bag with rivets in amazon green and this is a new color for this season this is the first time they're doing the beat bag in this color and it is so beautiful this is the beat clutch in the green and cream color block i think that this amazon green that coach has done this season will do so well it's so beautiful so elegant it's perfect for the season I particularly love green so maybe I'm biased <laughs> but yes I just think it's such a wonderful collection they have it on the beat they have it on the field totes they have it on the cushion gorgeous guys just look at just look at this beauty oh my god and so it's it's in smooth leather it has um, pebbled leather there as well it has the chain it has the rivets oh I'm in love It does come with a long shoulder strap. I don't like the Beats shoulder strap and the way it is set up for attachment, but it's still a beautiful bag nonetheless. This is the clutch new for this season. The aim is for me to have an entire Beats family. So I have the Beats 18. I want the shoulder bag in this beautiful green. When the clutch comes out in a color I like, I'm going to get it. And when the saddle, because there's the beat saddle, when it comes out in a color I like, I am going to get that as well. <laughs> and then maybe I'll rest. <laughs> but it's such a beautiful bag. I think next to the Rogue, the beat collection is the best design, the best style that Coach currently has. And that is the beat saddle there. This is the beat shoulder and the beat clutch in the um, ivory color and the ivory and brown color block. So the clutch is 375. The shoulder is 750 for the newer um, season colors, and I think a little over 600 for the others. And then you have the field tote in the large size and in the small, I think the 20 or the 22 size. I like this large size. I like it with the embossing of the CCs. I wish they had done this in a green. You know what? They should do this in an Amazon green in a 22 size. That'll be great. So this is the field 22 or 20 no i think it's a 22 i'm confused about the field tote sizes because i don't own a field tote but yes this is the new season um field tote in amazon green very very cute i wish they did it um in the embossed cc design like the pink one we just saw 
and that one was $595 Canadian. This is the signature canvas, also very nice, great for all year round. As a matter of fact, their signature C print is great for all year round. Here are some tabbies, there's a Madison, this one is also new with this um, cock embossed, it came out recently. You have your quilted Madison at the bottom. You have the Madison with the T-Rose turn lock for $495. Love this tabby with the rivets at the edge or studs. I don't think those are rivets. These are kind of like studs, but I like that. Back to the beats. This is the beat saddle in top. This is also new for this season, this color. It is also very beautiful. Lots of people like taupe, so this is also going to be a bestseller. I liked the bead saddle when it first came out. I still like it, but I liked it especially in the natural color. But then since I got my keep bag in the natural color, I also got my Ergo 18 in the natural color. There was no point buying the um, bead saddle in natural again. I didn't want to have three natural colored bags. And here you have the pillow tabby in the mini size and the regular size. Everybody was going crazy about these bags earlier this year. They've brought them back for fall, winter, and I think I was leaning more towards the small size previously. And then, you know, I just got over the bag. But now I think I like the black one. I like this one. And I think maybe if it goes on sale later on, I might buy it. I like that even the hang tag is puffy. It's pillowy. I, I, pillowy. I never knew it was, but I think that's cute. Yeah. And oh my god, this Rogue 25 in the yellow or um, buttercup, as Rogue, uh, Coach calls their yellow buttercup. It is so pretty, so soft, so smushy. You guys know I love the Rogues. I have the Rogue 25 in green. And I do want a yellow Rogue. But I definitely don't want one that has Mickey on it or anything on it for that matter. Um, I'm definitely not going to buy another Rogue this year. I bought my green Rogue this year. I also have my made to order Rogue on the way. It's being delayed because of COVID. But yes, yeah, so I definitely cannot afford to get three rogues in one year so i'll probably chase my buttercup rogue next year so all of these are new season rogues you have the 25 you have the 17 you have the rogue brief the rogue um 35 in all different colors and materials they are so so gorgeous they're more gorgeous in person than i even thought like they're prettier in person than online i have a subscriber that asked me to try on the regular rogue so the size 30 31 but my store doesn't carry that size. I've never seen that size in store and I didn't see it on this particular visit. I did ask and my essay said they did not have that size in store. So this is the Rogue Tote. The Rogue Tote has been part of the Rogue collection for a while, but it is really popular this season because of this Sherling version. This is so cute. They also did a version in fabric where they had like false pockets on it and a um, cartoonish hang tag, which I think also made this rogue tooth popular. That came out first and then this shelling version came out and it's just so cozy and big. This would be great for work. In my opinion, Coach does the best bag charms of any leather goods um, design house their bag charms both from the retail store and the outlet store are really really good here is the quilted willis 
the Willis is part of I think the coach original correct me if I'm wrong I know it is a vintage style that was pulled out of the archives and this one is $550 this is a new season color I love this orange it is so pretty and so another quilted bag this is the swinger 20 in the multicolor I think this is also a full um, release and here it is with the tiny bag charm you could even use this as a micro bag since micro bags are all the rave now I just thought that would look cute if I put those two side by side here I'm testing out the Willis I've seen this style um, the vintage version on Facebook quite a lot and I think it's just so beautiful the way it, it wears um, gracefully and ages over the years so yeah just trying that out to see how it looks and this is the cashin tote I think it's what it's called it is definitely the cashin this is the crossbody version um, from this season again the Amazon green is gorgeous I also love the buttercup they do have the bigger sizes coming out later on I think for spring next year they have some out currently they have more coming out in spring um, I don't like those bigger ones because the handles are thin I don't mind it being thin on this tiny one because it's a small bag it's not gonna carry a lot of weight but for the bigger ones yeah I'm, I'm very unsure about the thin handles here is the soft tabby in this pretty pink color and down there is the lorry bag and there's another lorry up there in the signature seas the lorry in canyon which is a beautiful color also in the color canyon is the soft tabby honestly this canyon color i think is the perfect color for fall 2021 it's so beautiful it, they, i don't know there's just something about that color i wish they brought it out in a bag that i really like i would totally get something in the canyon color if it came out in like a beat or a madison you know my type of bag but yeah here is another soft tabby in this beautiful snake skin one thing i like about the tabby is the buckle and the big c the huge c on that buckle so pretty here are some more bag charms or keychains they're just always so cute and playful and fun and extra i honestly love coach um bag charms this one i like they also have an outlet version which i have um, I actually wanted this retail version but I bought the outlet version instead and now I kind of want the boutique version too <laughs> here is the tabby wallet on chain um, very nice bag slip pocket at the back the chain has a nice strap drop $375 Canadian for that one it comes in different color combinations look at that beautiful buckle again here are some shoes from coach this is the Tate style I am not a fan <laughs> more shoes this shoe I'm still undecided about sometimes I like it and sometimes I don't I feel like it's something that goes in and out of style a lot but I don't know. I, I don't think it's my thing. Some more field totes. We did see these in um, at the bay. And then of course they have them here at the coach store. So this is the size 22, I believe. Very cute. They have the willow bucket bag in black here there's the um tyler carriol there's the elise here again in black and in signature color block um here i'm trying out the 
Tyler Carriol in the small size. I do like this bag in chalk. Coach chalk is actually very, very beautiful and very easy to maintain. A lot of people are usually scared of white bags, but since the chalk is an off-white, I think it is a very nice alternative to a white bag. And that's the bigger size, so you can see the size difference and the comparison between both. Just a look at how beautiful this turn lock bag is in the buttercup. I mean, it's there's just something about this color. It is so so beautiful. As a nice cute small top handle bag. This is also one of the Coach originals, I think. And this one is 550 Canadian dollars. checking out the beat saddle bag here because <laughs> amazon green <laughs> i just can't get enough of this color and look at that microfiber lining yes i think i would definitely buy a beat saddle someday when it comes out in a color that i can't resist i like that the beat saddle has burnishing on the edges so whatever color it is it always kind of like fades out at the edges or blurs out I can't really describe it burnishing is the best word I can use okay so that's it for coach and then I did go into Nordstrom real quick and I saw the Mac Jacob bags this is the camera bag in Sherling for $430 and of course they had the tote bag I've never seen this one that is see-through before so the first time I was seeing this in this bright orange color very nice for $300 I absolutely fell in love with this color it's kind of like a berry red kind of color I don't know what the real um, name is but this mini size was $200 I actually almost bought it the only thing that stopped me was the fact that it is canvas and I would rather buy this bag in a leather if I were going to buy it at all This Sherlyn was so cute and cuddly and soft. I particularly like that it wasn't in a brown but in kind of like a lavender color. They also had some Kurt Geiger um, bags here as well. It's funny how all these department stores carry some of the same brands but like in different styles different colors yeah it's, it's just really interesting love this one in tweed this was really big and sparkly and the color combination it was just and for um, a little over $200 yeah I think that was really nice Long Champ, makers of the best nylon out there in my opinion. I love Long Champ nylon. <laughs> I was comparing my Le Pliage tote with that small one there. This is a beautiful brown color. This one is $145. They had the backpacks and totes from the Le Pliage line. And then they also had the leather um, purses as well. Next, I went into Saks Fifth Avenue to check out some luxury designer pieces, of course. Um, this YSL section just made me take deep breaths because 
They're so gorgeous. They also had Louis V. They had Alexander McQueen. They had Givenchy. Um, but my battery was dying at this point, so I couldn't film um, all of those other brands. I did film the YSL because I was looking at the Lulu collection. I am trying or planning to buy a um, mini Lulu or a small Lulu. So yeah, I was I was looking at what colors they had. I was comparing the small Lulu to the toy Lulu just to, to get an idea and make sure that that was the size I wanted. They also had Rebecca Minkoff in some very, very nice colors that I have not seen before. Yeah, and this one is just under $300. I like the fact that they paired that blue with silver. I've also never seen this style of Rebecca Minkoff before. I think this envelope pouch was really, really nice and well made too. Here is Strathberry. I used to love Strathberry a whole lot. I still love the design aesthetic of it, but I'm just not as crazy as I used to be previously about this brand. more Marc Jacobs these totes are everywhere finally a leather one this is kind of like a cream beige color I like the size of all of the tote bag sizes I'll probably get it in a mini if I were getting one this is the shelling and again I just think it's beautiful I do still prefer the lavender color we saw in Nordstrom because I think that's just different and unique okay guys that is it for today i am so tired like <laughs> i spent like the past um five four or five hours in here i think but yeah i'm done I'm going home now um thank you guys for coming with me i hope you enjoyed the walkthrough seeing um what was in the stores on the shelves i did get some items they're all in my handy uh, shopping bag there I got a bag a small bag I got um, some other small items I got clothes from Zara I might do a haul in a separate video I'm not sure yet but yeah thank you guys so much for coming with me happy Thanksgiving to all my Canadians if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up um, please subscribe to my channel and hit the tiny notification bell besides the subscribe button so you can get notified every single time I upload a new video. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.